Okay, hi guys. Today we're going to learn 6.3 compounds. Compounds um, consist of two or more elements combined chemically, newly formed product has its own characteristic. So compound uh, two or more elements combined chemically, and they form a new product which has own characteristic. This is the example of compound the building blocks. The building block is made up of carbon and hydrogen and it becomes a polythene. Next is uh, tiles. Tiles is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. So, calcium carbonate is actually from calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Okay. Next example of a compound is water. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, the next one is cake. Cake is made up of all these ingredients and they are mixed together. After that, all the mixture is heated. Okay, when the mixture is heated, chemical process happen inside the mixture and become a new product. We call it as cake. Rusty padlock. Rusty padlock is another example of compound. Okay, the padlock is made up of iron but if the, the padlock is left outside, um, then the padlock will have a chemical reaction okay, between the iron and the oxygen. Okay, uh, so it will become iron oxide. And then rust, uh, if you can read here, rusting is an example of a compound formed by a chemical reaction between iron and oxygen. Okay. Another example for uh, compound is magnesium. Magnesium react with oxygen and become magnesium oxide. Okay, so all these are the example of elements, and they they react with oxygen, and this is the product form. Okay, all the compound their name at the back we have oxide. Okay, zinc oxide, iron oxide, copper oxide. Next is another example, lithium, react with water, become lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Sodium, potassium also, react with water to become sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas, potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Okay, another example, iron, react with sulfur and become iron sulfide. Okay. Iron and sulfur, if you just mix them together, they just become mixture of iron and sulfur. You can separate them physically by using the magnet. Okay, the iron will be attracted to the magnet and then you can separate it from the sulfur. But if the mixture of iron and sulfur is mixed and then the mixture is heated, heated and then after that, the ch a chemical reaction will happen inside the mixture. And the mixture changed to a compound. We call it as iron sulfide. As a conclusion, if an element react with oxygen, it become a oxide. Let's say um, iron react with oxygen, become iron oxide. Okay, and then if it react with water, it become a hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. A React with sulfur become a sulfide. Next is the method to separate compounds. Okay, the method is electrolysis. Electrolysis is a chemical decomposition of a compound to its elements by passing an electric current through the compound. Okay, this is the process. Okay, water and sulfuric acid here. The function of sulfuric acid is to allow the electric current from the and anode okay, flow into the water. The positive, okay, the rod here we call it as anode and the negative rod we call it as cathode. Okay. Anode will collect the oxygen and cathode will collect the hydrogen. Hydrogen gas released at the cathode, oxygen gas released at anode. Okay. Two hydrogen plus oxygen become H2O. Physical change and chemical change. 
Physical change does not form a new substance. Well, uh, the example here, ice melting, water boiling. Okay, the ice and the water still remain its, uh, its original substance. Okay, chemical change is form a new substance that is different from original substance. Rusting of iron. Okay, at first we have iron. And then react with oxygen and become iron oxide. Iron oxide is a new substance. Okay, the properties of the iron oxide is not same as the properties of iron. Okay, and then decaying of leaf. Okay, the leaf okay, will, form, will become a new substance. Okay, this is the double bubble map for physical changes and, and chemical change. So, at the center here, we have the the similarities for physical change and chemical change okay, both occurs to matter and both needs energy and left and right here is the differences does not form new substance form new substance physical change uh, the properties remain the same chemical change the properties not the same and then here the composition remain the same for chemical change the uh, substance and product have different chemical composition and the last one physical change need less energy chemical change need more energy okay, what is the what are the differences between mixtures and compound okay iron powder mixed with uh, uh, sulfur powder they mix physically and become a mixture this is what I've already explained just now just go through one uh, one more time okay just go through again about this Therefore, magnetic extraction can be used to separate iron powder and sulfur powder. Iron powder and sulfur powder, okay, the mixture of iron powder and sulfur powder just now, they are mixed chemically and become a compound which uh, we call it as iron sulfide. Okay, so the mixture, if you heat them, they are mixed chemically and become a new compound. Therefore, magnetic attraction cannot be used to separate iron powder and sulfur powder in iron sulfide. Just now, when you mix the iron and sulfur powder physically, it becomes a mixture. Then you can use the using a mag you can use a magnet to separate separate the the iron powder and sulfur powder. But for um, mixture of iron powder and sulfur powder which being heated and chemical reaction occur they already become a new compound called iron sulfide iron sulfide cannot attract to the magnet okay because its properties already change and not same as the iron even though before you heat the mixture we have uh, the mix the iron can attract to the magnet but after you heat them chemical process already happen a new substance already formed then the properties also change next is the characteristic formation of new substance chemical bond separation method properties of new substance compared to the original so mixture and compound okay they have uh, these differences okay you can see from here okay so I hope you understand about compound. Okay, that's that's all for today. Thank you.